Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. So today I want to talk about uh, Apple's earnings and then the hype around Dogecoin. Uh, so let's get started with Apple first. So if we look at uh, Apple Q2 earnings, crush NLS estimates with iPhone, iPad, and Mac sales. Um, if we look at down here, the revenue was 89.58 billion versus 77.3 billion, which was expected. And then earnings per share were $1.40 versus 99 cents expected. And here's a big kicker part of it. The iPhone revenue we knew was going to be up 47.9 billion. Um, iPad revenue 7.8 billion versus 5.6. That's a huge increase. And the biggest increase of all is the Mac revenue, which is uh, 9.1 billion versus the 6.8 billion expected. Um, so the stock was up 4% uh, following the report, which is great news. And I think the reason that Mac revenue is up so high is because they introduced the Mac. Uh, the M1 chip um, just recently, um, last, I think it was uh, back in November or September or October uh, date range. But that chip is insane. Um, the reviews have been positive on it. The performance has been stellar compared to uh, Intel's. And that made me decide to get a Mac Mini myself with the M1. So the one that I got is the... 254 gigabytes of SSD, and then it has the um, 16 gigabytes RAM. And it is powering my kind of like studio here right now with OBS running on it, which allows me to do this these videos relatively quickly and I don't have to go into post and do all this other stuff that's needed. It just takes away time from my family and things that I want to really uh, work on. Um, so that's why I think the Mac sales are crushing it right now. I think the Mac sales are going to continue to crush it, uh, basically because they just came out with their, they had their spring uh, spring event just this, um, what was it two days ago on Tuesday? Or was it last week? I can't remember when they had it. Uh, I think it was uh, last week on Tuesday that they had the spring event. In there, they introduced the new uh, not the the IMAX. They introduced the brand new IMAX, which featured the M1 processor in them. So those things are, I think are going to sell out like uh, hotcakes. Um, based on my own performance that I've seen with the Mac Mini here, it has been stellar. I mean, I'm running OBS. I got the iPad plugged into it. I got the camera plugged into it. I got dual monitors, and it's using up less than 13% uh, CPU, which is great. So do I think that Apple has a chance to continue going forward with this uh, Revenue Beats? I do think so, as long as they keep on coming out with the brand new products that have uh, more of the M1 chips. I think the iMac Pros might be coming out, or the 27-inch iMacs, those weren't introduced this time around. If those are introduced in the summer, fall, I think they're going to continue be able to continue on their projections, or not projections, but continue on their trajectory for beating the estimates on earnings for the Mac sales. Um, the other interesting thing is that possibly the 27-inch Macs might have a better processor. They, they're speculating the M1X or something like that, which is going to have more cores than the current M1 chips do. And if that's the case, then they're obviously going to be more powerful than the current generation is. And they also introduced that the M1 Mac or not, the, the M1 chip is going to be included in the iPad, which is going to give it, I mean, you're looking from desktop all the way down to a portable device such as an iPad, sharing the same backbone, basically having the same architecture behind them to work across all apps and everything else. It's just going to be, it's a stellar move on Apple's part. So I do think that Apple's going to continue to beat earnings going forward. Um, I only wish I had bought some Apple before the earnings came out. Um, but we'll leave it at that here. The next thing I want to talk to you about is Dogecoin. So Doge has had a little bit of a spike here recently within the last 24 hours after Elon Musk tweeted about 24 hours ago, the Doge father said in SNL May 8th, which he's going to be hosting Saturday Night Live uh, on the May 8th. And after that, the price of Doge just spiked. It went from approximately uh, 27 cents, 26 cents, all the way up to 34 cents for the high on the hour chart within four hours of just you know, Musk tweeting about it, which is just insane. Um, so for full transparency, I do own um, 
some Doge. I own uh, 168,000 roughly Doge coins that I purchased back in 2017 when it was uh, less than a penny. I got it in at 0 0.003 cents. And it has done stellar for me. It's the best performing uh, cryptocurrency that I currently have right now. I'm up almost 10,500% uh, on it. Um, my pricing was around $500 and I'm up 52,000 on it. Where do I think it's gonna go from here? Uh, that's kind of hard to tell. Um, some people are calling it that it might go up to as high as a dollar. Some are saying $10. Um, $10 I think is gonna be high, a little high because of the number of coins that are currently out in circulation. Um, the only way they can do that is reduce the number of coins that are rewarded to miners uh, for mining it. And if they do that, then it's gonna be create a little bit of scarcity in the coins, and I think that could actually drive it up higher. Uh, but that's up to the developers to do, figure that out. But in the meantime, I think with this bull run that we're in right now with um, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, uh, Binance Coin, and all those other ones, I think we're actually gonna probably be able to get Doge to a dollar, if not a little bit more this time around, this cycle. And whether or not this cycle is gonna be the same as the previous ones we had, where we've seen a correction after uh, the having events is yet to be seen. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, we do have a lot of investors, obviously, in the crypto space now with uh, Elon Musk's and uh, Tesla buying up 1.5 billion. They obviously sold a little bit in the last couple uh, weeks here. They sold, I think, 10% of their holdings on it, but they're still really profitable on it. Uh, MicroStrategy keeps, continues to buy in. Uh, we have a lot of other news events that are happening right now, so I don't really know what's going to happen with it, whether it's going to drop down 80 90% like it did in the previous uh, bear markets or bear winners, or to call it uh, crypto winners. It's just too hard to tell right now. Uh, I'm just going to play by ear and see how it goes. I also think uh, one of the bigger guys that's touting Doge is uh, Mark Cuban. So if we look at, uh, if we actually listen to his uh, Ellen DeGeneres uh, interview this morning, uh, we'll listen to a little bit over here right now. Probably two years ago, people started talking about the meme online, okay, and started buying it. And probably within the last six months, the number of people buying it has just skyrocketed into the millions, and the value has gone up incredibly. And I'll give you an example. My son and I bought some for less than a penny. Jake, who's 11 years old, bought a, you know $30 worth, I think it was, and for less than a penny. Then it went up to $0.06. Cents. He bought a little bit more. Then it went up to $0.40, cents, and now it's about $0.26. Cents. So the question everybody wants to know is Dogecoin a good investment? And here's, what I, here's the reason I got Jake into it. It's not necessarily the best investment you can make but you can buy it on Robinhood and signing up and trading on Robinhood is free. So that's one thing. The second thing is it's about 26, per Do 26 cents per Dogecoin. So if you go and spend five, 10, $15, that's a better bet, better investment than buying a lottery ticket. And you know what? It could go up. And the second part about it is if it doesn't go up and you want to spend it, you can buy merchandise on the Maverick store, hopefully soon on the Ellen shop. So it's also becoming a so as you can see, Mark Cuban is really into it as well. So I think with Elon Musk and Mark Cuban pumping it, I see no reason why this Dogecoin can't hit 100 or, or not 100, what am I talking about? A dollar uh, per coin this year. Um, and at that point, I think it'll be a decision for everybody to make on their own as far as whether they want to sell it or keep it for even longer. I would say if it's a life-changing event for you, sell the coins. You know, if you make 10,000%, 20,000%, 100%, 100,000% on it, that's money in the bank, cash it out and go that way. But if you're going to be a long-term hodler on it and you're pulling it for the next 10 years, then hold on to it. Uh, you know, everyone is uh, right to their own opinion on it and how they want to handle their finances. I'm just a YouTuber here, so do not take this as final financial advice at all. I think with that, um, we'll see how things go tomorrow with Doge, Apple. I'm interested to see how Apple starts out in the morning. And then we'll see what else is coming up uh, in the week. Other than that, thanks for watching. Um, 
it would mean a lot to me if you guys would subscribe and hit the like button. It helps me out tremendously. And let me know in the comments down below if there's anything that you want me to, to cover in the coming videos or if there's any questions or comments that you have. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.